All right, real quick before this video starts, make sure you follow me at 415 Kodai on Twitter and also GFX Comet. And we also got a Discord server. So uh, if you're interested, join. And I hope you enjoy this video. Yo, what's going on, YouTube? So uh, today I'm going to show you how to do a Super Saiyan effect. Now, I don't know if this is Super Saiyan 1, 2, 3, whatever, because I don't watch anime. So. But uh, I'm gonna show you how to do the effects. First things first, I'm gonna. Right now, I'm trying to look for a background. And we're just gonna move this. Alright, there we go. Alright, cool. So, first things first, I'm gonna edit the render a little bit to make it a bit more appealing. So, right click, blending options. I'm gonna go to the bevel and boss. And I'm just take the highlight mode and I'm just gonna go overlay. Same with the shadow mode. So. There we go. And let me see. I think this looks good. Um, if you see my rim light tutorial, you can just add this effect for right now. Just change this to overlay. That's basically, I mean, I see a lot of people, they do it in Blender, but I think it's a lot better to do it in Photoshop. I mean, it, it's so easy. You just do it in inner glow. But uh, yeah. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to go online and I'm going to look for the the effects. So, all right, so I have this and I'm just going to control T. All right, now we're just going to enlarge this whole thing so it surrounds our character. Let's make it wider. There we go. And uh Let's see what different blending mode will do. I think linear does looks pretty good. Um, actually, we could just maybe duplicate it and just put this one on it, and uh, just change this one. Now you can go to uh, filter blur, Gaussian blur. We just blur this out and put it on top, and change the mode to overlay. As you can see, it just makes lighting changes. Uh, now you want to make a new layer. Go to your brush tool and select a yellow color and just go ahead and paint on the character to give it some more lighting because right now it seems pretty it seems pretty boring so just gonna paint over it and go to overlay copy it and go to screen there we go uh, for the background, you could <laughs> you can do the radio effect as well. All right, so right here I'm using i5K, and the designer I'm using his uh, graphics pack right here because I think there's a bunch of nice effects in here. So you can go ahead and follow him. Um, I'm gonna make a black background so I can actually see. Let's go ahead and go to cartoon effects and electric. Alright, this stuff right here is cool. Um, which one should I try first? I'm gonna, let me just try this one. Alright, put it right here. Right, I'm just gonna put this right here. I'm gonna put it on top of the character. Right there. It's cool. So, uh, yeah, for this part, you just want to add a bunch of lightning effects. So, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm gonna separate this. So, there we go. Right click, control, and right click and cut. I'm gonna place this behind this time. So, right there. I'm gonna take this and put it right here. I think that's cool. And now I'm just gonna take everything. So, just click on the top, hold shift, and click on the bottom, control G. Duplicate with Control J, Control E to flatten it, and then as you can see, there are these edges. So how do we fix that? We hit Control A to make a selection around just this part. Control J to copy it, and we just delete the previous one. And we're gonna hit Control J one more time to make a duplicate. So we could go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter, and here is where we're gonna finalize everything. So. Uh, you can add some distortion if you want. I don't know how much that's gonna help, but you got a vignette. Go to basic. Oh yeah, that looks nice. 
I like that. Um, turn the vibrance up. It looks a lot better. The texture. Yeah, we could turn the texture up. Shadows. The black. The white values. You can increase the contrast and the exposure. Um, detail. Noise reduction. I really like this because, as you can see, it just makes everything look smooth. Um, if you like the more detailed look, you can go ahead. But, I like more smooth. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Sharpening, we could bump this up to 7. Color mixer. You can play with these settings. Um, split sign. Optics, we already mess with that. Uh, effects, same thing. And these are just colors again, so... We're just gonna hit OK, and if you can see the before and after, that is a huge difference. So uh, yeah, that's basically how you do a Super Saiyan effect. Um, if you want me to do more of these anime effect tutorials, just comment down below. I read all the comments. So you got anything else you want me to um, make a tutorial on? Just leave a comment, and I'm gonna try my best to get to it. So at 1k subscribers on the gfx comment channel uh we're gonna start doing rendering tutorials so make sure you share and spread our channel to as many people as you can and uh we'll see you all in the next video